is <laughs> talk about again there are only two ways to break through financially only two prayer is one of them abby unfortunately prayer is not one of them fasting income fasting is not one of them <laughs> anointing oil is not one of them Chime Guomo. so what are the two ways the two ways to break even financially <laughs> you must have a product and eh? you must have a service can you please give us an example i give you an example when you go to forbes and they tell you elon musk is the richest man in the world they will tell you the service is rendering to mankind and the product is delivering to his generation am i talking to someone here Bill Gates is the richest man in the world. Microsoft. They will tell you exactly the value they have added to humanity. They will tell you Ali Kodangote is the richest man in Africa. They will tell you about Smith. They will tell you about uh, sugar. They will tell you about the product. The question is, I have prayed for you. I have prophesied on your head. What product and service do you have that God will now stand upon to bring to pass this prophecy? If you don't have product, you don't have service, you are a comedian. God bless you, sir. What do you have to tell people now on Onoka from Monday to Sundays? On Monday morning, when people are busy making impact in the stock market, in different platforms, making things happen, people are gathering for anointing service. Monday morning. <laughs> When active minds are busy, adding value to generation, to their generation, people are gathered by 9 a.m. on Monday morning doing, I claim, I receive. God, oh, an embarrassment <laughs> and humiliation to the body of Christ. Oh, God, Balogi, get one advice in when you're in the church. Please, the church should graduate from prophecies. You will drive cars you did not buy. Amen. God is going to bless you. Amen. These prophecies will never be converted. If we don't live, amen, I receive, I claim. For five, ten years, you have been claiming. What came out? Nothing. Somebody can keep giving you the same prophecy for ten years. You are not asking questions.